the greatest story is what an amazing day it is in here. I right. had no idea it's every how much time. energy there is in that room in there. And it's like that every time you come here. Like it, it makes you feel like you want to do so much when you leave, and mm -hmm. it, it just it puts hope back into you because you see all these little kids running around, and then you hear all these stories of so many amazing people that have been through so much, and it's so humbling. We're talking about going through so much. These are the crazy Hulkamaniacs here. <laughs> that come see me wrestle, that come to our Hogan's Beach shop that have been loyal to me forever. Would you please tell them your name and where you're from yes. real I'm quick? Rebecca Gregory and I'm from Houston, Texas. Originally from Kentucky. I still have to claim Kentucky. What part of Kentucky? Uh, Louisville. Oh my gosh, the Louisville Gardens. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, she's been through so much craziness um, that we just wanted to let you guys know what was up. She got robbed at gunpoint. <laughs> Two, and I don't even know the details on that, two weeks before she was involved in the Boston bombings. Six so, months before, yeah. Six months, but anyway. I thought I'd been through some craziness, but my gosh, girl. I, you know, everybody goes through stuff. Mm -hmm. And I always say that the majority of people are not gonna get blown up by a bomb in a marathon, but everybody has life blow up in their face. And for me, I was three feet away from the first bomb that went off at the marathon in 2013. And this was your first time in Boston? It was my first time ever, yeah. I was just there watching another friend run. I was there with my five-year-old son. Oh my gosh. And he was watching it with me that day. And I remember he had gotten bored because I was thinking, why in the world did I bring my kindergartner to a marathon of half a million people? Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, buddy, why don't you sit down on my feet and play in the rocks like you're a scientist? And there were no rocks because we were on asphalt, but he thought it was cool. So he took his place at my feet with his back against my shins. And that's where he was when the bomb in the backpack went off three feet behind us. So by the grace of God, yes. your legs protected him Dead. from getting major, major, major damage and major shrapnel. and. Saved his life, basically. Yeah. No, I had two pieces of shrapnel grace him, one on his leg and one in the back of his head, but he was out of the hospital in five days. I spent 56 days in the hospital and continue to have operations. I just got another piece of shrapnel um, pulled out a, a couple months ago. So, you know, there, so much continues on, but Noah is perfectly fine. Well, how many surgeries all together now? Had, this makes 67, I think. Oh my so, gosh. I'm kind of losing track. No, I still have, I have so many pieces of shrapnel left in my body, it's unbelievable. But that's what happens when, when something like this happens. God bless you. My gosh. Okay. It's, a, it's a miracle your son was at your feet. Yes. It's a miracle you're here with us. We love you so much for telling everybody the Thank story because, you. like you said, everybody goes through hard times. Yeah. But it's all about getting knocked down, getting back up and moving forward. And, and you're a hero to all of us, so thank you so much. I don't feel like a hero. I, you know, you just, you take your obstacles and like you said, you overcome them and you turn them into opportunities. So now, you know, Noah experienced really bad PTSD mm -hmm. emotionally after the bombing. And we're starting a foundation for kids with PTSD due to trauma because there's so many traumatic events that happen and kids don't get the help they need early in life. So we're changing that. And I feel very blessed and humbled to be in this position. Well, it's an amazing story and continued perfect health. Thank you. And thank you so much for helping all the kids here today. Oh, they were awesome. They're the stars of the show. Yeah, they were <laughs> You've something. got a little competition. <laughs> I'm telling you, they were something. And we love you and thank you so much for thank sharing you your so story much. with us and God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.